This house, designed by Betsy Pettit and Building Science Corporation, has a 4-inch skin of rigid foam over 2x6 walls. Because the foam sheathing and the interior drywall are both part of the overall air barrier, each surface must be carefully sealed at all seams, including edges of windows, doors, and walls. In this series, we follow engineer Joe Stiebrick as he inspects air sealing details before the drywall goes up. Here Dr. Joe focuses on the windows, where site-built plywood boxes extend through the rough openings to compensate for the thick foam. What I want to be able to do is connect the air tightness of this window to the air tightness of the gypsum board on the interior. This is the air part of the air seal. The water control is already done. What I want to do is now focus only on the air. And so let's work backwards and say the drywall is the air barrier. I'm going to caulk or glue the drywall to this window frame. And so around all four edges in the perimeter, there's going to be gooey stuff. So when the gypsum board is installed, I pretty much have an airtight seal between the gypsum board and this subframe. Mm -hmm. Well, now I have to get this wood, which is the air barrier, to this sub buck. And you've provided a clear silicon seal right here. So all the way around the perimeter of this wood frame, the sub buck needs to be air sealed. And it's done beautifully. The complication is at the top. You don't have an air seal at the top. You don't have a wood buck at the top. So what we're going to do here is you have to trim this. You're going to have to cut this and trim it to expose that um, two by header and then run a bead of sealant to seal the black thingy okay. to the wood frame. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Now this sub buck is airtight. We have to connect it to this. That's being done with a heavy bead of sealant on all four perimeters. And so the air barrier goes from the gypsum board to this, from this two by four to this plywood box, from this plywood box to the window frame three dimensionally. And you, know, you pookie around the attachments. That's it. That's how we do the window transition. Question. So you've got the, the buck up there on, yeah. on that one. That's the way you want it. That's the way I want it. I know you're sh shocked to hear that sometimes the window dimensions change at the last minute for reasons that are self-evident to anybody who's ever been in the construction industry. And so we had to have a site modification here, and we didn't need as much of a site modification there which is okay if we know the principle for air sealing, rock and roll. Now we have a, a real interesting opening. Um, remember, the gypsum board is the air seal. We know we're going to seal that with gooey stuff to that. We have a seal between this and this, and it's all the way around the perimeter. I can see that. We're going to need a seal between this and this. So this should be trimmed and then the edge cocked. At the top, I would trim this and then cock it. I get to this. Well, this is sealed to this. This is sealed to this. This is good. I would put gooey stuff between this as well. I'd run one up here simply because, there, I mean, there's going to be wood trim. Who knows what the hell's going to go on? It'll be funky, whatever it is. So this is sealed around this. I would seal around all of these two. Well, it can't result in much of it, trust me. Just do it. This might not seem like a big deal, but we've got 35 windows in this building. Yeah. You know, and it adds up. And we're going to be absolutely perfect.